Okay, we're doing a little bit of review of exponent rules, and uh, this little worksheet is our second to last day of review. Today we're reviewing this, tomorrow we're reviewing it again, and we on Friday are going to finish this off. Okay, so that was number eight, and it said end of the second and end of the tenth, and you are correct, sir, it's end of the twelfth. On that kind, you add them. Now, I, I want you to have a way of knowing this besides just guessing add or multiply. Otherwise, you've got a 50-50 chance on every problem. That's pretty crappy odds So, because you don't want to get half of them wrong, right? What this really means is that. What end of the tenth really means... Takes me a minute to write it, but do you get that makes 12? Yes. Okay, that's not that... That's not that tough to do if you have to to figure out what the answer is. Expand it all the way out, and then the answer must be end of the 12. Okay, moving on to number 10. Okay, we knew 12. 10 was pretty easy, wasn't it? Okay, so 12 says k to the 15 over k to the 10. Well, you got to add them or subtract them or whatever, but what if you forget? What if you're like, I don't remember. Is it multiply or subtract? You write it all the way out. Am I going to really write 15 k's? No, I'm not. I'm going to put dot, dot, dot. A whole bunch of K's on the top, and I get there. Oh, well, that's right. There's a bunch of stuff will cancel, right? And I don't have to be a genius to go, okay, oh, that's right. This is the kind where a bunch of stuff cancels. So maybe I should subtract those powers, and there'll be K's left on top, right? How many K's? K to the fifth. All right. And it is as simple as adding powers, subtracting powers, multiplying powers. We never divide the powers. There is a thing like that in higher level math. But all right, almost. Uh, let me just get one more problem done. Hey, yeah, you may, you may go. All right, number 16. Number 16. Notice we have an even theme going here, right? Negative 5x squared y. What if there's a parentheses that has no power on it? Then there is a power on it. What power is it if there's no power? There's a 1 on it. So these are the easiest kind, and sometimes kids are like, well, what do I do? Well, it's just this put to the 1 power. Do you get, you put things to the 1 power, and they kind of stay the same? Do you get we're on a different problem now? Okay, good. Be with me. Uh, then I'm going to put everything to the 1 power right now. Negative 5 to the 1, negative 5. x squared to the 1, x squared. Y to the 1, Y, times 3 to the 1 is 3, X to the 4 to the 1, ooh, i got to multiply those, what's 4 times 1? It's 4, everything stays the same, but I don't have parentheses anymore. Now I can just put stuff together, see? So when there's a parenthesis with no power on it, it's just like there's a 1 on it, and it's super simple. Now things that are alike go together. You're gathering up all the things. Drifting again. Be back with me. We're another step in. This negative 5, is it getting squared or not? Is that negative 5 getting squared? It is not getting squared. But that negative 5 and that 3 could go together. And is this a subtract or a multiply problem? Multiply. Thank you for saying multiply. If you said subtract right now, I'd have to cry and run away and go home. 5 times negative 3 is negative 15. X, ooh, wait a minute, it's a bunch of X's. That and that. If I was unsure on the multiply or add, I would write it out. That means X, X. That means X, 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 X. Wait, four of them. And now I know, oh, it must be X to the 6th. See? Writing it all the way out really helps. X to the 6th. And then it's Y to the what? Yep, because there's only one of them. So it's Y to the 1st. There's your answer. All right, so we've done a bunch of them with you. you got to get the rest of them done. On the bigger ones, like number 30, just expand it all the way out. It looks kind of big, but then you can just go cancel, 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 cancel. A lot of stuff cancels, and it's not bad. All right, that's all i got for you for today. It was just a review day. I'm sorry I missed the beginning of the recording there, but that's the idea. It's a review of exponent rules, mixed review day one worksheet.